Welcome to Be Me with Shari Ware, the podcast where each day is a step towards a better you and where we focus on progress, not perfection. Join me as we embark on a journey of self-improvement and wellness, focusing on being just a little better than we were yesterday. Hello and welcome to episode 21 of the Be Me podcast. My name is Shari Ware, I'm your host, and in this episode we are talking about journaling. Uh, Now, Stephen Covey, if you haven't already heard of him, uh, he wrote the very, very popular book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And he says that writing is another powerful way to sharpen the mental saw. Keeping a journal of our thoughts, experiences, insights and learnings promotes mental clarity, exactness and context. So first of all, what is journaling? It is the very simple act or practice of writing down your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences. Um, The main purpose for it is to create a space for self-awareness, an opportunity for self-awareness, for reflection and for personal expression. Now, why would you want to do this, especially if you're time poor, if you're already thinking that you've you've got too many things to do in a day, why would you want to add in writing down these things? How can it benefit you? Um, well, first of all, uh, it actually can help if you, if you are under a lot of stress or if you're suffering from anxiety, it can help to reduce that. Um, writing down and writing about your thoughts and feelings is is an outlet it's um it's allowing you to release things that you might not necessarily have the opportunity or have an avenue to release Um, it can reveal things to you that maybe you weren't aware of Uh, i actually have had some major aha moments from practicing journaling. So it definitely can be very beneficial. Um, It enhances your self-awareness. When you are consistently, regularly um, journaling, it, it encourages you to reflect on your thoughts and your feelings and your actions Um, where you, especially when you're busy and you're just doing things, you're not necessarily aware of some of the things behind some of the things that you do. Uh, So it can definitely help you uh, with self-awareness and it can allow you to reframe any negative thoughts and feelings that may be coming up and give you a um, different perspective when you're looking back when you're sitting back, I should say, and and looking um, at what you've written down, it can definitely be very illuminating. Uh, Number three, it boosts your mood and and emotional wellbeing, or it can boost your mood and emotional wellbeing. Um, And again, especially when you're adding in uh, journaling around um, gratitude, some journaling around positive things that have happened in your life, uh, and working through the negative stuff. It's it's not we're not saying that everything you write down needs to be positive. The whole point is that you're not censoring what you're writing down. You're just writing down whatever comes out. Uh, but if there is some negative stuff that comes out, it allows you the opportunity to work through that. And so it can definitely help um, help to put you back on the on the positive focus path. Uh, if you are straying into the negative. Uh, It improves your memory and cognitive function, um, especially when you are journaling regularly. Um, The process of actually organising your thoughts, recounting um, experiences, writing it down, it strengthens neural pathways as opposed to just thinking about these things the physical act of actually writing it down can help to strengthen neural pathways um, which of course improves your overall brain function Um, and because you are writing it down it helps the brain to process it better and those neural pathways are stronger 
as opposed, as I said, to if you're just thinking about these things. Uh, number five, it can support your goal setting and achievement um, and achieving your goals by writing down what you want, what you're working towards, um, your vision, and by keeping track of your progress and writing it down, you can refer back to it, you can reflect on it, uh, you can, <clears throat> it reminds you of um, the successes that you've had, which especially if, you, if you're in the middle of a setback, that can be really helpful to get you back on track. It makes it a lot easier for you to stay focused and motivated um, when you are writing these things down and referring back to them regularly. So how do you get started? Um, it, it, doesn't, it really does not have to be a long process. It does not need to be a difficult process. You could literally just get a piece of paper, piece of scrap paper and a pen or a pencil, whatever you can write and just write down whatever comes up for you. Uh, it doesn't have to take a lot of time. You could you can literally spend a minute a day and that's better than zero minutes a day. So the very first thing you want to do is just choose a method. How are you going to do your journaling? Um, there's lots of different methods. You could get a special book for it. You could just have, as I said, a piece of paper and a pen. You can, you can there, there are digital apps these days for you to use for journaling. Um, whatever it is, just ensure that it is something that is easy for you to access and easy for you to do. The easier it is, the more likely you are going to be able to do it. Um, set aside a regular time. And if you go back to habit science, um, attaching it to something that you're already automatically doing each day really helps to make it easier to create the habit in the first place. So, so for instance, if you have a cup, if you sit down and have a cup of coffee every morning or a cup of tea every morning, if that's part of your morning routine, then you could you could say that when you're sitting down having your, your cup of tea or coffee, that you are going to do a couple of minutes of journaling, um, something like that. When you are writing, when you are journaling, just allow yourself to write freely. There's no rules. This is for your eyes only. Nobody else ever has to see it unless you want them to. Um, grammar, spelling, sentence structure, none of that is important. What is important is that you just allow yourself to write whatever comes up for you. Again, it's not about being perfect. We are perfectly imperfect and that is when the true gold, gold comes out. That's when the real aha moments come out is when you actually just allow yourself to write freely with no rules and no judgment. Um, allow yourself time to uh, reflect. So maybe um, if you're only spending a couple of minutes every day doing it, um, maybe spend one minute writing and one minute reflecting on what you've written. Uh, I definitely had um, one of the biggest aha, aha moments I ever got out of journaling uh, was I was doing I was doing an exercise to understand my um, my customer avatar is what they call it my my perfect person who I was you know who I'm trying to help and um, who I create all of the things that I create for and there was there was a series of questions and I was I had a I had a notebook and I was um, writing the answers to the questions in the notebook and one of the questions was um, what are and I was answering the questions from the point of view of my perfect customer, so or my my per perfect customer avatar, um, and so I was putting myself into the shoes of that person. And the question was, what are your, what are your core life beliefs? Now, um, 
I just wrote down, there were three lines and I just wrote down three things. I didn't even think about it. I just wrote three things down. And then I sat back and I looked at what I'd written. And the first thing was, um, the first belief that I'd written down was that everything happens for a reason. That's something that I've believed for um, most of my life. It's something I still believe today and quite probably I will believe that for my entire life. Um, And I'm okay with that belief. It was the second and the third belief that um, really, really shocked me. Um, The second one was that everybody else is more important than me. And the third one was that I'm a bad person. And when I looked at those things, it really, first of all, I wasn't consciously aware that those beliefs were in there, but it really showed me or helped me to understand why, why there, why I had self-sabotage so much in my life. Um, And that has definitely been a recurring theme throughout my whole life. That was um, a really big part of my whole journey and I, I I didn't always understand completely I, I I had an idea but I didn't realize that those beliefs were in there and what it made me realize that at some point those beliefs changed because if they hadn't have changed I would have been stuck in that cycle of self-sabotage still um, so it was such a simple, um, a simple practice. I wasn't even, I wasn't even um, practicing journaling as such. I was answering questions um, in, during a business exercise. But what it revealed to me was life changing. So that really is the power of journaling, and and the only way, a lot of times that that stuff comes out is when you allow yourself to do some form of journaling, just writing down thoughts and feelings, even if it is answering questions, which that's actually the next thing on the list. What are some practical tips to help you with journaling? If you don't know where to start, if this is new for you and you have no idea where to start, then start with some prompts. Start with some questions um, and answer the questions or or continue the prompt. A prompt could be, what am I grateful for today? Um, Another one could be, what are my goals? What are my goals for the next, you know, uh, week or the next month or the next six months, whatever whatever works for you. Um, Another tip is to keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. We make things way too difficult. They don't need to be difficult. Um, The simpler, the better. The easier it is to do the more likely you are going to be able to do it and to continue to do it consistently. Um, and be honest, nobody is nobody else is going to see this. What you write down is for your eyes only. So there's no reason why you cannot be 100% honest with yourself when you are doing your journaling. Uh, so that's some tips, benefits, why it's good for you to do it, um, how to get started and some tips for you for doing it. As usual, I will um, I will put the link to the corresponding Be Me Bites edition, which is Be Me Bites 19, the benefits of journaling, writing your way to a healthier mind. I'll put that link in the show notes for you. I highly recommend you checking that out because um, I do give, there's generally things in the written edition that don't make it into the podcast um, and vice versa. I mean, there's some things that I put in the podcast that don't get into the written edition just because I don't script. I don't script my podcasts and I really just whatever comes out is what I know is meant to come out at the time. Um, But I I do direct people back to the written version because I do always put resource, extra resources in there and there are quite a few resources um, that will be helpful for you if you 
are if you if you aren't currently practicing journaling and you do want to add this into your daily routine um, there's some resources that will help you in the be me bots edition so without further ado that is it for this episode and until the next episode keep taking one steps step at a time see ya Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Remember to check out the show notes and if you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If you've received value from this podcast, make sure to subscribe and I'd love you to rate and review the show. Have a fabulous day.